RCD butts, and today we're going to talk about auto rotations. Uh, so what you're going to do, if you want to do an auto rotation just to be fancy, or if some failure happens with your motor or engine when you're in the air, you may have to learn how to auto rotate just to bring your helicopter in safely. Uh, whatever your reason, uh, what you want to do with a uh, auto rotation is kill your motor when you're in the air, and then what you want to do is say you're upright, give it just a little bit of negative pitch, too much and you're just going to kill your head speed. You can't go positive, that will kill your head speed as well. So you just want to go a little bit below mid-stick, like a negative three, negative two degree uh, angle on your blades. Also, when you're, if you're inverted and you're doing an inverted auto rotation, you give it a little bit of positive, have to flip over, give it negative. And at the end, what you want to do is flare up. If you flare up too early, you're going to kill your head speed and you'll probably come down pretty hard from whatever distance you're at. So you want to flare up pretty close to the ground and then use what you have in the way of head speed that you've built up to land safely. So let's see if we can do a nice little demonstration here. So we're going to come up, kill the engine, and then just a little bit. See how it starts to float just a little bit there on the negative. You're building up the head speed see how it's moving, you can see the blades, see how it's coming down nice and slow and light like a feather. If you just give it the right amount of negative then that's the way it'll, it'll happen. Flare up here at the end and put it down soft. So if you're going to do that inverted instead of giving it a little bit of negative you'll give it a little positive. So kill the engine here Get just a little bit of positive. Sometimes a little bit of angle of attack will help you build up a little head speed. See how it's just floating down right now. And then flip it over. Save it there at the end. That was a bit of a rough landing, obviously. But I think you get the generalized point. And then some people will get into really fancy auto rotations. Uh, like blade stops. If you actually give it positive pitch after you kill the engine, you'll see that the blades start to slow down. And then you can start giving it negative there and build up your head speed just enough to flare up here at the end and land safely. So that's auto rotations. You gotta practice them a lot. Uh, make sure you don't give it too much negative pitch. Don't give it positive pitch. You gotta find that right amount of, you know, minus two or three degrees to make sure that you're just building head speed as you're going down and do that final flare up at the end and then you're good to go.